today I'm feeling a little sick and I'm feeling a little cringy. So today we're gonna to talk about luxury watch trends that I absolutely hate. Starting with the first one, the diamond letter initial that goes on your watch bracelet. Somewhere in this or this region here. I don't know where this started, probably somewhere in Europe. It feels like an Italian thing. Um, and it kind of seems like a social media thing. So I have never seen it in person, but uh, this trend is just a little too cringy for me. Um, you know, as if having a nice watch isn't enough, you gotta throw uh, your initial on it, which is also cringy, uh, studded with diamonds. Um, I just don't really get this. I'm not even sure how to put this thing on, but it looks like a C-clamp that you just insert into your oyster bracelet. It just looks so odd. It looks, um, looks like it would even catch on like your clothes and stuff like that. And looks like the diamond could even just get chipped one day as you're walking by a doorknob. In either case, uh, it's just too much. I think less is more here and uh, you can do without that diamond, which probably can't be cheap either. So uh, that's watch trend number one that I absolutely hate. Uh, number two, uh, and I'm gonna get a lot of for this, but uh, it's gonna be the rubber straps on Rolexes. I think the Rolexes, they just look so weird with integrated rubber straps, particularly the GMT and the Submariners, the modern ones. The older ones look okay, um, but the newer ones, that integrated rubber on the case with the lugs, it just looks so odd. I think, I think a Rolex just deserves to be on a bracelet. Yeah, even the Rolexes that do come on rubber, which fun fact, um, apparently inside of the rubber strap, it is uh, a metal bracelet. It's just coated with rubber and it does feel really nice and it's really robust and sturdy, but uh, I think rubber just doesn't really belong on a Rolex. It's like it's like getting a Rolls Royce and putting some winter tires on it. I think anyone who buys a Rolex, I mean the bracelets are like $1,500 alone and then you go out and buy a $250 rubber strap, you're just downgrading uh, the watch. And I think what makes Rolex so recognizable is the Oyster and the Jubilee bracelet. So um, the rubber straps, I am not a huge fan of, sorry. Watch trend number three that I absolutely hate is people who wear Rolexes and an Apple Watch at the same time. And it can be any smart tracking device for that matter, a Fitbit, um, a Garmin, a golf watch and a Rolex. I think it's, uh, I think it's so strange. I get why you do it is maybe you want to track your steps, your fitness uh, and answer your text messages, which you can just do on your phone. You don't have to be so connected all the time. But what's weirder is like, on which watch do you actually check the time? Is it, it must be the same watch, right? If you're wearing one watch here, your Apple watch, you're doing the same thing, checking the time and checking your messages and checking your stats. And then really you're just wearing a luxury watch to, to show people that you, you have one. Um, just wear one or the other, you know, you can go a day without wearing a nice watch so you can wear your Apple Fitbit or whatever. Um, I'm not a huge fan of them, uh, although I do see the appeal. Uh, I just I just like keeping it simple. In fact, I'm trying to get rid of my phone. If I could have a brick flip phone, I would. And one day I will make the switch even periodic for a small amount of time. Um, so yeah, two watches, same time. Strange. Watch trend number four is the Instagram picture with your Mercedes steering wheel. We've all done it. It's, it's kind of a social media thing, um, but you know, there's just much more interesting things I think you can group that watch with than your Mercedes steering wheel. Um, so if you want to check out some lifestyle photos of people actually doing things with their watch, and not just driving behind their Mercedes steering wheel. Follow my Instagram, Simply Submariner. I'll link it down below. It's just me out and about, um, you know, living life, taking photos. You can check out like a lot of background stuff there. Um, and I just, I think it's much more interesting than taking that, you know, Porsche Mercedes steering wheel pic. Um, what I found actually kind of unique recently is 
all the advertising you see on Rolex, they rarely show their watches when they're highlighting like a, a documentary or like an award or like a person of greatness. They rarely show their watches uh, being worn by that person. They are more so highlighting the interesting things that people do with those watches. And that that's kind of more fascinating than uh, the Mercedes and Porsche picks. Okay. Uh, and number five is going to be people who wear tons of bracelets uh, alongside their watches. Uh, again, this seems like a European thing. I understand that some cultures do love to wear tons of bracelets. Like when I was in Colombia, all the men there wear bracelets. I'm not really sure why. Um, I think less is more. It scratches your watch. And uh, yeah, tons of bracelet things gotta go. So that's it for 2022. We'll see you in 2023. If you want to see watch trends that I love, uh, that'll be my next video. Uh, just like and subscribe uh, to this channel. It just tells me that you wanna see more content like that. And I'll try and get it out sooner than later. See ya.